Oh, session control is session control. Session control. Hey, session control, baby. Yeah, yeah. DJ, J, 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 Bling. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, DJ, J, Bling. And this is where the magic happens. Let's go. Uh, say a prayer for me, yeah, bitch, it's demon time. I forgot to tell your bitch, yeah, I'm in my prime. 40,000 photo watches, my time to shine. Bust it down on the nigga, don't be acting shy. I'm fucked up, perfect. See it in my eye. I got my mind on my money, money in the sky. Can't stop throwing it, can't stop blowing it. I'ma give you what I got. Things that I remember growing up in my city and how it inspired me musically. Uh, born in Compton, raised in Long Beach, and you know, lived in both cities growing up. And I would say, listening to you know, Def Row, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, especially. And you would just listen to their music, and you—that's all you would really hear on the radio. Tupac and um, uh, Snoop, and and um, just always wanting to make music that I felt I, I feel that I can give people the same feeling they gave me. Like when it comes on, it just makes you remember it later on down the line. And and a lot of people may say, "Yo, you know, that's commercial music," but that's that's what birthed me. That's what raised me. That kind of music, you know. That I grew up off of that, and that's like a lot of uh, of how, who they were, and I just felt like just growing up in Long Beach, growing up, you know, seeing that, you know, who they were, and even being around them, you know, Long Beach is a very small, it's a small city. It seems it may be big to others, but everybody know everybody. So seeing Snoop and you know being that little kid that see him walking past and everybody gravitating to him, you kind of want that. You kind of you kind of be not just want it, you get inspired by it, and. When you're rapping his songs and you feel like you can strap the whole song all the way through, you kind of want to make your own. So I always just take that with me and keep that with me. That mentality of just saying, I want that same feeling Snoop gave me. I want that same feeling that, you know, West Side Connection gave me. A lot of the people on the West Coast. And, and then, you know, even then, like, it dripped over to the to the East Coast. Bad Boy, Diddy, that the feel good music, take hits from the 80s and make it sound so crazy. Like, and hearing him say that particular. Puff say that particular line, I was like, yo, dang, I do remember my grandma playing this particular song when I was real, 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 real little. And that was before I heard Puff Daddy make the same exact song, but now it's like more fun and rappy-ish. So it was like things like that, knowing that, you know, something inspired him. So it's okay to be inspired by music and want to make music like it. And, and that's how I, you know, do my thing. I DJ the songs that make me feel good and make other people feel good and it's the same thing when it goes to writing and recording music i want to just i have fun with it i don't overthink it i don't underthink it i just have fun with it and whatever comes out of that fun process we'll complete it and we'll move on to the next Ooh, something I would tell myself, younger self. my young, something I would tell my younger self about what I know now in the music. Stay as naive and innocent to the music business because it can take all the fun out of you. It can, it can take it because it's very dark. And when you chase the money, money's the root of all evil. Greed comes with that and you're gonna find a lot of people who wanna use what you got. And later on down the line, as you get older, you realize that they use you so you'll move with, with more caution. And that caution kind of takes that innocence away. And that innocence, you know, the little bit of innocence I still do have, I love that more than the caution that I move. And I would rather move with more just innocence, just moving forward, just, just you know, and not letting people, people affect how I feel when it comes to releasing music or the process of music. That's what I would tell my younger self. Stay innocent. 
Yeah. Why you doing this to me? I've been loving on you. Why you doing this to me? Yeah. All right, cool. We got that. It's crazy. And in, in, in doing this route, I, when I started beating in the crib, all the studios was down. You know what I'm saying? All the studios everywhere was always down. So... I had to learn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna stop doing music. I already can't DJ in front of a crowd, but I'm not gonna stop doing this music. So what, what got you into making music? What's the, what got you into it? Um, what got me into making music is growing up around it. Like, I, I, my mom was real young, you know what I'm saying? My mom's 16 years older than me. She had me at 16 years old, and she was always a music person. So growing up, I always heard music and that's how we connected, you know, and she would always play music and as I got older, I realized, you know, well, I can make my own music and I just got into just, you know, mumbling my own songs in my head and people around me would be like, yo, what song is that? I'm like, no, I was just making that up in my head. <laughs> I make, I'm making that up and then I remember always like remixing, you know, the most famous songs and, and people from you know school and around my neighborhood they were always be like yo your song that's, that was nice that was cool and then I started doing like remixes to like songs and I would talk about food so I would remix the song but only while I'm remixing the song I'm talking about food and I and then after I realized me being able to do that in middle school I just started saying, you know what, let me try to make my own actual song. Alright, for now, for now I got my hook pretty much. Just a, I look at this like no music, this is a pre-hook, alright? So as soon as it come on. People gonna say, why are you doing this to me? So now I'm gonna pretty much put some like doubles on it. Backgrounds, people may call it, but it's like my doubles. Yeah, I'm like you acting different, shorty. Why you acting strange? Yeah, I'm like you acting different, shorty. Why you acting strange? So now with that, right? So what I do with that is. Or pretty much I'm just having fun in my head and that's the one you know I keep doing the same things over and over in my headphones like I say these headphones is giving me the feel of what it's gonna sound like outside you know what I mean yo what's up it's your boy DJ J Bling and this is Session Control where the magic happens why you doing this to me yeah say I give real yeah why you doing this to me I've been loving on you why you doing Why you doing this to me? I've been loving you. Why you doing?